The Chinese Communist Party is holding key meetings to figure out a development blueprint for the future. The five-year plan is an important document that guides the country's economic and social development. Yang Changshi has more on the plan's impact on China and the rest of the world. As the Chinese leadership drafts the 13th five-year plan, the world is watching as they set the GDP growth target. The country managed to beat past goals by huge margins. But as the economy enters a new normal state, experts say previous growth engines like exports and investments are not likely to remain as powerful. Many expect the next target to be around 6.5%. The government has made it clear that the key to maintaining economic growth is by transforming China's growth model to a consumption-driven one. And that transformation will define the Chinese economy in the next five years. Not using investment as a, as a driving vehicle, what else we can count on with, with our experience, consumption. Uh, U.S., U.K., as well as Japan, all those growing economy, fully developed economy, their growth depends on consumption. The economy is moving from an export-led uh, model of growth to a consumption model of growth. There are a lot of structural changes. We'll see, obviously, details of that come out of the, uh, uh, the next plan. In order to achieve that, coordination of a wide range of different social policies is needed. Some economists are advocating that the government focuses on improving social security for the general public. Uh, I think uh, efforts needed to get people to consume more as well, uh, and that involves giving them a sense of, of security in their old age. Uh, um, you know, we're trying to reduce the precautionary motive to save. I mean, that's uh, a, a big task, and it involves changing you know, people's perceptions of what they may need and what they can rely on in, in later in life. Currently, the government spends 70 percent of its fiscal revenue on welfare programs. It is expected that it will encourage more spending and jack up domestic demand. Some economists are proposing other angles to boost consumption. When we want to have a consumption-driven economy, we're really saying that more jobs, more employment driven for the economy. Now, remember that. How to create more jobs, how to create more salaries, so on and so forth. And the interpretation, the translation is that it does not necessarily imply more investment. In the 12th five-year plan, the government set an objective of creating 9 million new jobs in the country every year. And it has completed 70 percent of this goal by mid-2015. Thanks to the rise of the services sector, the job creation objective is expected to rise to 10 million per year in the 13th five-year plan. Yang Chongxi, CCTV.